The mission of Dress for Success is to help disadvantaged women thrive in work and life. But as you'll learn, it's less about the clothes and more about empowering the women who wear them. What is Dress for Success? Well, Dress for Success is really um, a community empowering women into the workforce. And we do that by helping women and giving them the tools and support they need to find employment and ultimately keep a job. What is the Professional Women's Group program in particular? Well, Professional Women's Group is for women that are recently employed. So after they've found a job, we ask them to join an 18-month program. And these women meet once a month, and basically it's a leadership mentorship program. So through each workshop that we put on each month, they're learning different skills that can now help them with their job or their career path. But it also gives them an opportunity to uh, public speak, build their own network, and have a mentor relationship with some professional women that volunteer their time with us. So really now helping a woman develop on her path to success. When you see a woman leave Dress for Success, her head is held a little bit higher, her shoulders are back. It's one less thing for her to worry about in a job interview situation. The wonderful thing about Dress for Success is they first come to us for the clothing, but because we give them so much more, we get to see them on their own journey. So um, from the time they come in and they may have an interview set up and they're really nervous and excited, we'll offer offer them an appointment with a career specialist to really hone those skills while they're interviewing. Then when she gets a job, we invite her back for a couple more outfits so we get to see that excitement build as she's starting on this new journey. And then through the professional women's group, we actually get to see her commit and give back to her own community um, and really flourish in the program. So it's a 360 transformation. It's amazing. We believe that every woman deserves to be successful and uh, we're inclusive of all women. So any woman who wants to work, and is able to work, we will serve. Um, sh most of the women that come here are resilient. They want to get back and give back to their communities and be involved. So we're really here as a support system to her. It becomes very empowering for the volunteers, for the staff, for the board of directors, and ultimately our donors as well. They really get to see the results of, of their impact um, when they make a donation to Dress for Success. Why was Serena chosen to receive the inaugural Inspiration Award? Well, Serena has um, been such an amazing woman to watch um, grow and, and change through, through her experiences with us. She really committed to Dress for Success, so when she came into our programs, uh, she was looking for clothes. She received a new job as an office manager, and she really wanted to do better, and so we offered her help with you know, a, a career consultant, and she accepted, and then readily accepted into the professional women's group, and through the program, really took every lesson, every tip, every tool that we gave her and tried to apply to her own life. To the point where she decided to start her own nonprofit and give back to women like her that were transitioning out of housing. This program is clearly so much more about just clothes, but clothes and ones that feel good is obviously a great starting point for women. It, it really is, because when I first came in here, as you can see, the boutique is beautiful and the clothes are quality and they look nice. So I was very intimidated because I came in here with an old t-shirt and old sweatpants and, that I had gotten from the shelter that um, donated the clothes to me that I didn't feel like I should be here because to me this was too beautiful and that I didn't deserve it. But within that one hour of being with a style consultant and going through the outfits that fit, I was able to feel like, no, I've got this. I can do this interview and I will get the job. <laughs> I love how every time that a woman comes in here for a dressing appointment, all the ladies look at them and say, look how beautiful you are. You've got this. What comes next is working on faith wellness and providing the program on a more regular basis for the women in transition housing, for men as well, because of the men at the location and on Yukon participated as well. So it's for people living in transition and hopefully we can help them find their self-love and their respect and their confidence to be able to hold their heads high and and know that they're not alone in their journey. If you'd like to donate time, clothes or money, visit their website. For City Lights on Novus TV, I'm Nicole Hodges.